guys in this video I am going to show you how to download and install Android Studio before that you need to install Java JDK let us see whether you in your computer you have Java JDK or not first off you have to go to the command prompt cmd and write down here Java hyphen version enter it shows that Java is not recognized as internal or external command that means it's not installed on your computer so to download this so I have to go to the browser and then write on the google.com where you can search Java JDK download for window now you can see here Java download circle click on it now it shows that Java 18 and 17 are available here you can see there are different types of platforms linux mac os mac os windows click windows and then you can see here bin.exe file click, click on it but here i have already downloaded it here in downloads and let us double click on it Right now Java SE Development Kit 18.0.2 is installing. Now we can go to the installation folder where it has been installed. Java. Java JDK and then bin folder. Now you have to copy this location here and go to the environment variable it's here click on it now click environment variable here you can see path click edit and new click here new and paste here and ok now you have to go to the installation folder again but right now you have to copy this location copy and go to the environment variable again click new and write down here write down here capital java underscore home and here you can paste the location and click ok ok and ok now we can see again in the command prompt whether it's working or not java underscore version it again shows not recognized because we have to restart the computer now we can see we have restarted the computer we can see now whether it's working or not go to the cmd now here you can write java hyphen version now it shows that uh, java version 8.0.2 is a uh, has been installed and another command we can use java c iphone version yes again it shows 18.0.2 that means we have installed java jdk successfully now the second part is we have to download and install android studio so let us start go to your browser 
write down here google.com and you can write here android studio download click here now it shows here download android studio click on it it shows here a license agreement terms and conditions check it check this box and download now you can see that android studio has been downloaded double click on it click here next click here again next now this shows here that the location of the android studio where it has been it will be installed click next click install now it will take some time to install and click finish click here don't send click here next here we want this standard android will be installed settings click next now here it asks for Dracula theme or light theme I would like light theme next Here I will keep it as it is, keep it as a default. Click next. Now click next. It shows all the features, components. Click next. <coughs> now here you have to accept the license agreement. I click accept. It shows that uh, it has not been installed. Click accept. I would like to install. Click finish. Now it will download the other components of Android Studio. Let's wait for some time. Here you can see it has been launched. Click here a new project. Uh, it asks here which type of project you want to design here I would right now keep it empty activity click next and now the name of the application create for example we will write down here my first Android app now this will be here the location where you can save the project and click here finish now it will download some more components here you can see it's downloading wait for some time until it downloads all files now the download has been completed click finish here now the Android studio is launching it takes some time to load now as you can see it has been launched and this asks for firewall has blocked some features so click here allow access now you can see here the cradle it's uh, downloading something as you can see this is the main activity dot kt where the actual programming is and this activity main.xml where the actual design of the app shows it's loading right now you can see here the app files and here the main activity.kt where the actual programming is 
and this is the activity main.xml where the design of the app is you can see here this is the app design and you can also see the both using split both code and the design this is the code part and this is the design part of the app either you can only see the design this is the design or you can see code only this is the code behind the app now for example here we want to run this app we need to add a device here on which device you want to use this app compatible so here you have to first use device manager and here you can create a virtual device and here you can choose which on which phone use this app for example here is a nexus click here next and it shows here which image you want, android app you want to install for example i want to install this or click here download it will download the image of this android app which has been uh, downloaded click finish now here you can see it shows that xahm is not installed install it here you can see the memory allocation keep it as it is default click next now the HAXM installed successfully click finish keep as it is here's a portrait and a landscape I want to keep it as a portrait and click finish now you can see it has been uh, downloaded Nexus S now we can run this uh, now we can run this project using this Nexus S now you can uh, run this uh, app on uh, this Android uh, Nexus S and this was all about uh, how to download and install Android Studio how to configure it and I hope you find this video informative thanks for watching and if you like my video please share and subscribe my channel thank you